Yeah, I mean, Kansas City music is uh, a thing, man. I've, it's been a challenge over these years to really to to grow it. Um, Why I've, can't we grow it? Because I hear about you know of all the rappers I talk to, they're always bitching about there's not enough support here. A lot of the, uh, we're, there's not any support here from the other artists or studios, sure. and, and they all and of course they all bitch about. I, I don't know. If, they don't bitch about this out loud, but I think a lot of times is what they're kind of crying about is Tech Nine and his and Strange, like yeah. how they don't. I think the big thing support is support Kansas City as I, much as they yeah. would like. I think the issue with Strange Music is that they are stuck in a time and they're stuck in their own ways in in a sense, and they're not really that interested in moving Kansas City music forward other than their own music. Okay. And I just don't think that their music is going to be something that's lasting over over time. Uh, you know, Tech is, I think in his late 40s, early 50s now. I mean, he's he's coming to the time where he doesn't really probably want to be out doing a whole bunch of shit. Oh, shit. You know? Yeah. I don't think, do you see him on Instagram? He's hitting the gym. Yeah. He's, I think he's getting ready for tours, just like physically. Yeah. May, I don't know. I'm, th I'm thinking, why else would he be trying to hit that gym? Just, you know. Maybe. I, I mean, don't know. I don't know. I just think that, like, from a brand perspective, uh, the... I, and, and absolutely no shame to Tech at all because he's an incredible artist and he's an incredible musician. He's a legend, and, and right. A legend for sure. Yeah. And he's been around for a long time and he's morphed and changed his brand over time. But the audience that likes Tech 9 is not the audience that likes top 100 music. <laughs> what do you mean? They just don't. It's just not. <laughs> they just like not strange the stuff? Yeah, they just like strange stuff. They're, they're like different the kinds of people. It's Brother kind of Lynch like, and the... <sighs> Yeah, man, they don't listen. Like they're, they're really jelly good roll at, type stuff. Yeah, exactly. You know, they're from Topeka. They're thirty five years old, <laughs> <laughs> right? <I> mean, <laughs> they're from Topeka. Oh they shit! Go about, they they, they woo woo. They wanna They used to do that stuff before they got to Tech they, when they were to Tech Nine. I remember okay. Tech Nine was, you know, doing the early Tech Nine, right? Right. When Tech, but that was great. Ex excellent. Excellent marketing tactic, excellent audience because they're a rock solid audience. You know, right. That's what you want as your, an audience for you as for an individual. You. Sure. If that's your brand. If that's your that, brand. Thirty-five year old white dudes from Topeka. That, woo woo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the brand. And if you ever go to a strange music show, and other than if you're at Power and Light or some place where it's not just purely a tech, a purely a strange music show, uh -huh. then you're gonna see that audience, and that audience doesn't look the same. It's not the 22 year old girls. Okay. Okay. They're is not, it a lot of gigolos? There we go. Is that what, the is that what they're called? Juggalos. 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 Not that. I think they died, but their but their kids are. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they're kids. Damn, bro, he's calling out the Juggalo the fans Juggalo too. Juggalo fans, they're kids. I don't have any problem with that. If that's the kind yeah. of music you like, it's all good. I'm right. just saying that that doesn't move KC music forward. Right, right, okay, right. Okay, that brand doesn't move KC music forward. Also, not helping out your artists that are actually in KC doesn't move KC music forward. Okay. You know, there was a lot of there was a right. lot of shit that went down with the artists below those major people on that label. Recently, right? Recently, right? And some people got removed. And at the end of the day, I'm like, damn, y'all really don't support the people below. Also, you don't pay your creatives. Uh, you expect p creatives to come in and work for you for free in your oh. facility. Hell yeah, I work with a bunch of models and know a bunch of different people who have been reached out to from Strange Music who literally are just being asked to work for free always because, because they're strange. fucking exposure. And I'm like, if you guys were that exposure, then we would have been bigger in the city than we are. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, that is something to say because Kansas City is not on the map. Yeah, like, where's the exposure? I, I mean, I wonder, I wonder what it would be like if you went to uh, maybe a Detroit or an Atlanta or a New Orleans or a Memphis and you said, hey, where's Tech 9 from? There you go. And hey, not to say he, Tech Nine is a legend in the industry. I won't say that. Right? He's no, not, I know that. I mean, Little Wayne knows who Tech Nine is, and just oh, everybody knows as, Tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As one of one of his influential artists. Okay, he's he's no lightweight in any sense of the word, and we're not we're not even debating that at all. I'm only debating the fact that I think it's bad for the brand in Kansas City. You okay. Know? I think that there's other artists. There was uh, we know there's other artists on the label that could be. 
pushed in a direction to make mainstream music that are not being pushed in that direction because they're literally being groomed to be opening acts for those major acts. And that's my personal opinion. Okay. Right? I think what is actually happening okay. is those artists are being groomed to be a part of a show. Oh shit! You know what? You might be. You're making sense. Okay, they're being groomed to be part of a show for Tech and for Chris and for you know those people at the top of the thing because they need to fill the rest of the slots with the same type of music that the audience is gonna like. Okay. Damn. Right, and that makes complete business sense. Right. right? You can't bring a brand. You can't bring an. Um, and they're. I don't know if they're defunct or not. You can't bring an above waves along with Tech Nine. On tour, Above Ways was like a band with a single, f- good-looking male front lead singer that was doing pop music. Mm-hmm. They, that was something they tried, right? Okay. They're not going to bring Above Waves with Tech 9 The Juggalos are not going to accept Above Waves, right? Right. They're not right, going right. to be able to be conducive. But you could bring you could bring the other guys along, and they will. Wow. That sucks for those guys. Do you want? I wonder if those guys even realize. They probably do. You think so? And but as they're long just as like checks. It is, but their checks aren't even that big either. We, are, I already know about that too. I'm like, yeah. you're not making any more than a regular, regular salaried employee, and they own all your shit. Oh. 100%, 360, 360 deals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think those artists, artists are literally being groomed to work on their work on that show for that brand. <laughs> but hey, that kind of sucks, right? I mean, it does suck. Well, if you think about it in terms of being an artist, then damn, you're like, okay, well, I have to get in line with this. But this isn't this isn't Capitol Records. This isn't Republic, where you got where the artists on the label are like The Weeknd and Ariana Grande and stuff like that.